when critiqued, but I'd say in this context would be pretty valuable. Okay. All right, so some of the overarching takeaways here. Where social media helps parents, um, there's a couple of things. One is validation of parenting. Okay, likes and comments turned out to be pretty valuable. They're very lightweight, but in aggregate, they help parents feel validated about their parenting. Um, second is archiving childhood. A lot of parents, mothers, um, talk about the value of being able to document their children's growth on Facebook in this social environment. A third is overcoming judgment. We see that online they have opportunities to overcome judgment that they might experience in their offline settings. And fourth is these new kinds of support that they can get pretty quickly on Facebook um, especially for, par for parents who have children with special needs, right? Finding other parents like them who can help them through this process. Where it fails, managing audiences, right? Once you post that picture, it's gone. Other people can reshare it and you've lost control of your child's online identity. Um, stewarding privacy, so what is appropriate to share about your child? How do you even know that when your child won't be able to tell you for another 10 or 20 years how they really feel about you sharing that content? Um, connecting parents across the lifespan. So one of the things parents talked about, which I didn't talk much about in this, uh, in this talk, but they wanted to be able to access parents who are more senior than them, older than them, especially parents of children with special needs, to see how their child's future would look. Okay, so as they age, what kind of life trajectory can I expect from my child? Okay, so overcoming judgment, managing audiences, and stewarding privacy, are some of the overarching takeaways here. And I want to talk about um, some of the current things I'm working on briefly, and then we'll switch to Q&A. So an overwhelming number of the parenting studies, both that I've done and that have been done in other work, oversample mothers, okay? This is the case in internet research, um, but it's also the case in offline research. If you look at sociolo 